Carolina police officer has lost his job after being accused of beating a suspect. The whole incident was caught on dash cam. We now go to Ben Hoover with the latest on this. Ben? Dondi and Judy, the, the former Greenville County Sheriff's deputy, says he was just doing his job, but the 18-year-old suspect's attorney says there are still many questions that need to be answered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. Carl Allen is appalled at what he sees. This video appears to show his client, 18-year-old Jeremy Rucker, being punched 13 times by former Greenville County Deputy Brian Tollison. The camera keeps rolling. And then they have the audacity to come in and treat this young man as if he's a piece of meat and taser him with electrical jolts to his body. And then, that's not enough for them. They then kick. Uh, three times to the torso. Judging by the tape, Allen says it does not appear his client posed a threat. I've seen nothing to justify the actions of these officers. To set the stage, the undercover deputies had just pulled a man over at a known drug hangout to them. The driver got away. Rucker was found sitting in the passenger seat. Deputies were trying to take the 18-year-old into custody because they said he had drugs on him. Back in June, Sheriff Steve Loftus fired Brian Tollison after a month-long internal review. And the fact that uh, Deputy Tollison took his closed fist and struck the, uh, the suspect in the face 13 times, uh, in my opinion, was excessive. But he says the actions of the other deputies was not, and they did not violate policy because Rucker started to resist arrest again. The suspect's lawyer says the sheriff's disciplinary action against Tollison is commendable but falls short of justice. Meanwhile, the teen has filed a civil rights complaint with the Justice Department. Count on WIS News 10 to keep you updated on what happens. Ben Hoover, WIS News 10.